I'm back working on my XR125. Uh, today I'm going to make two videos. One, I'll be changing, taking this off to get to the two oil filter systems that are inside the plate one, and then we've got a centrifugal one inside it. So this will be coming off and cleaning those out. And then later on, I'll be adjusting the tappets. Uh, they're two separate videos, so check out my channel and I'll see you here. draining over drawn around the gasket place with gasket which you need apparently and some bolt holes in there so let's take the bolts out put them back in where they came from so they can get they have to go back in the same spot apparently release off this clutch lever to get it out of the way first Okay, I've just released the brake cable there and um, there's a split in which pretty makes it easier but I haven't got a replacement one of them so I've just slackened it off at the back end there. We've got slack and now I can get to the bolts. There's also one small bolt holding on this clutch cable. I'm just going to let that off. A bit fiddly but that's off as well. Find the right size socket. Okay. So apparently, this isn't just going to fall off. It's going to take some tuckets off. And voila. It looks like mine engine doesn't have the flat plate oil screen I was expecting. Uh, just the centrifugal one, which is this jolly thing here. So good job I brought a new gasket, as you can see it's still still stuck around the outside, it takes some cleaning. Become one with it here, so it's going to be fun. This will be the centrifugal oil filter. As I say, there's no flat screen oil filter for me to see anywhere in here to clean. Strange, it's just that little screen where the sump plug is. It's a coffee. Oh. oh, there it is. Right, here it appear. Just screw it over. There's a bit of gunk down the bottom here, quite a bit. Cleaning over the years. Oh yeah, that's a lot of <coughs> There's quite a bit of solid mass that's come out of that there. I have no idea when this was done last time. So let me get on the inside plate here. It's quite a bit of gunk. Take this mic 
them off as well. Yeah. I have a replacement. Okay, so <clears throat> I've cleaned off the gasket as much as I possibly can. Trust me, this is not fun. And uh, cleaned out the centrifugal oil filter as best I can. There's the cover plate, cleaned all that off. Taken out this um, oil feeder pin, I believe it is. Just goes back in, spring in there. And then we have a, a pin, that clip pin. I should push back on like that and that's how it's held in place and uh, when you're going to do this you're going to have to buy yourself a gasket when it comes to replacing it I'm going to do what around it goes and So, now it's a case of cleaning off all this, which doesn't look like I want to go. It's going to be loads of fun. And it comes off easier. Right, anyway, time for a break. Okay, I've finally managed to clean up the edges here. Got all the old gasket off, um, both the engine and this crankcase cover. But it was a lot of hard work, it was not fun at all. Um, just, yeah. Okay, I've just tightened the brake lever cable back up, reattached the springs and reattached the clutch cable. And it's all done. It's all done apparently. So what? 